We are right in the middle of Singapore. Right now, we are in the MacRitchie Reservoir Zone. This is the Leonard Enclave that is parked right within the Windsor Park Nature Reserve. This is called the Windsor Park Leonard Estate. This estate consists of three different types of landed property. This is the corner terrace, freehold status we're right at jupiter road now this entire landed enclave is pretty interesting because the road names here are named after astrology names you have leo drive you have venus road you have capricorn as well and you have libra road now as you head in don't be deceived by the outlook of the house because the front of the house it looks pretty normal but as you head in you just realize that this house is superbly huge Now the land size right here is 4,930 square feet. The build-up is approximately 5,525 square feet. The front of the house is 8.9 meters in width. The depth of the house is 54.5 meters. And it's extremely difficult to obtain a 54.5 meters in terms of its plot depth itself because the entire Windsor Park estate, only the good class bungalow exceeds the 50 meters depth. This corner terrace is one of the rare ones that you can find. Now let's head in. The music, the rhythm, a heart on a mission. Can't fight the fear. This house, when the owners bought it in the year 2001, it was an old house. They have done an extensive A&A right from the start and progressive A&A as they move on. And as you head into the house, you have two houses sitting on the same plot of land on this 4,930 square feet land. I would say that you can't really find a lot of these type of houses in Singapore. And for the context of this home tour later, as Jesslyn and Adrian is going to bring you through the house together with me, I'm going to name the front part of the house as the front house and the back part of the house as the main house. Now, the entire two houses made up of five bedrooms and seven bathrooms, they're all interconnected with this beautiful link bridge on level two. Two and a half stories. You have this very beautiful high wall right on my right hand side. We are already sitting on elevated land. And right now I'm just standing in the dividing zone between the front house and the main house together with this beautiful pool right here. So the entire concept is built to be like a resort home kind of status and is meant to let you feel that you are really in nature. We are sitting on the last plot of land that is at the brim of Windsor Park Nature Reserve. Right southwards, that is the entire MacRitchie Reservoir. And because you are at the middle of the entire Singapore map, this is the place that you want to be in, District 20. We're just one bus stop from the Thompson East Coast Line. It's going to be so convenient if your kids come back from school. Right at the back of the house, this is what we call a single loading fashion. It's extremely rare to have this kind of frontage at the front and at the back. Front of the house, you're on an elevated land. You can see the entire Upper Thompson Road Lander Enclave. At the back of the house, that's where the entire nature reserve is. You're also about 30 steps towards the roadway that allows you to hike up all the way to the MacRitchie treetop walk. Right beside Windsor Park Nature Reserve, that is the Island Golf Course, which is where SICC is located. And then right further north, that will be Lower Pierce Reservoir. So you are situated along the entire green lung of Singapore. Just check out these two front gate, nice stone walls, bronze type of gates very nicely built and designed from scratch. The entire left-hand side is done with beautiful trees. Really lets you feel that you're coming back to a resort kind of hotel. And as you walk in, there is this garden that is segregated. You can only enter from the front house sliding panel door. This is also an additional option if you want to park two cars. But anyway, right outside, the roads are done with a center divided dotted line. So you can park the cars on the left and right hand side. There's a huge public car park right at the back. That's the car park that a lot of people will park their cars and hike up towards the treetop walk. Now, heading back in, I would say that you don't have to do a single thing because the upkeep and the maintenance and the structure is beautifully done, it's rock solid. The front part of the house allows you this landed house with a two-story version. If you're buying this property together with, uh, let's say, one of your siblings' family, you can structure who gets the front house, who gets the back house. If you want to house three different families together right here, it's doable as well. 
entire level one is dedicated to be your kitchen zoning, which is on this portion here. Right now, of course, is a baking studio. There's two nice center console right there. If you remove this two center island console, this entire zoning will be for your dining space plus your living room area. So the entire level one is beautifully done. Just check out the garden view from here. And this is the part that you can walk towards your side gate as well. You come into the front part of the house. And as you look upwards, notice the framing. These are not the usual black color kind of sliding panel or glass panel door frames. These are purposefully ordered, customized to be in this color tonality. And that is consistent throughout the entire home because you want to bring in the neutrality of the tone of the house itself. And the entire house is made out of a combination of very solid structures with a lot of full height glass panels that permeates in a lot of natural brightness into the place itself. Because of the fact that this is now being used as a baking studio, there are a lot of cabinetry on this side of the wall. So if you remove all these, these are all movable. This entire space is very, very suitable to be a nice dining zone plus living room area. So as you head towards here, notice that Almost every part of the house is pretty Instagrammable because you can just take a nice photo right here. This is a pool that I think your kids are going to enjoy. L-shaped pool right towards the side. Water feature. We've got to test out the water feature. Let me test it out. Is there a button here? One eternity later. Alright! This kind of tiles, these are all customized one piece by one piece in the exact dimension that the architect has wanted. This kind of feel uh, for you to walk around barefooted. I'm gonna bring you to level two. The first room of the front house. Check out the elevation. You are already pretty much higher than the, the row of houses on your next street. A lot of people buy landed properties within the Upper Thompson area is because of the amount of good schools right around this entire belt. They have kids in the very popular Aitong Primary School. This portion here allows you to walk out to the front balcony. You should follow me. Let's check out the quietness right here. So, of course, buying a landed property, very important thing is you want serenity. This is a street you want to be in because Jupiter Road is not too deep. It's right in the middle of the Windsor Park Enclave. So we have a nice balcony that links to us uh, to two bedrooms. These two bedrooms, they share a Jack and Jill bathroom right in the middle here. The shape of the room is long. The design here is that the bed is in the middle. Resting area with a couch is right there with the reading zone. And of course, this is your wardrobe space. Coming back to the architecture of this house, just check out the amount of skylight that you have. The amount of detailing done at the roof also. A lot of green walls towards the second portion of the place also. This interconnecting bridge allows you a bridge between two different zonings. So even if you're one family living here, you can use the entire front part for the common rooms to be for your kids. The master room, you have two choices. You also have three different living rooms and two different kitchens. So there's multiple usage. A lot of functionalities right here. I'm gonna head down. I'm gonna pass you to Jessie first, and I'll see you later. Welcome to the second block of this resort home here. The entire flooring is done consistently with the one outside the swimming pool. They have placed an outdoor waterproof furniture set. Over here, there is a wooden platform that has already been installed for you to chill out or even suntan during the day. And this has been placed above the swimming pool. You can remove this wooden platform and have a longer lap pool for you to have your swim. Over here, this is placed with an 8-seater dining table for you to host your family and friends. Just take a look at the details over here. This is full quartz, so everything is in team with this whole resort home. L-shaped countertop has already been installed. 
You have a small wash area on the left and on the right is where you can find an induction cooker. This hidden storage here is huge enough for you to put all your kitchen appliance as well as the ingredients. Two glass sliding panel for you to partition the wet and the dry area. Top and bottom kitchen cabinets have been done and for the countertop wise it is made of quartz. This area here may look like a simple storage with cabinetries but on the left hand side is where you have a big sliding door and we have more hidden storage right at the back. I'm not even half done with this place. Now check out this huge mouse steel door that is customized with glass panel inside as well. Take a look at this tranquil area that we have here. This is an air vent that is built so that the breeze from Panrichi Reservoir can flow into this resort home. A lot of details has been done over here, especially the granite feature wall. The plants that are streaming down from the top are part of the self-irrigation watering system that the owners has carefully designed. Currently, this common room has been converted into a gym. There's a lot of space for you to roam around. You also have both storages on the left as well as on the right. So you can potentially convert this into a fully functional room with king size bed, your massage chair, all can be fit into this spacious room. Now, take a look at this huge junior master ensuite. Look at the amount of space that we have here. You can easily fit in a king size bed with two huge size table. In front is where you can have your TV console. So even for the walls, they're all installed with wallpaper and they're still in new and pristine condition. The owners have also extended beyond the main building and have converted this into their study and entertainment room. Alternatively, you can convert this area into a field zone. You can have your walk-in wardrobe over here as well as your study desk over here should you need to work from home. There is even enough space for you to put your gym equipment here. Let me bring you to the highlight of this landed property. Take a look at the details that's being done to the staircase that is heading towards the back. So beyond this, we are just a few steps to the Marichi walkway trail and for you to enjoy all the nature and the scenery. Now let's head back and I will show you the master ensuite. Take a look at this beautifully designed ensuite here. I think the best highlight that you need to take away over here is this built-in bathtub that's already in place. This whole bathroom here really make you feel like you're indulging in the modern resort vibes. Imagine taking a shower over here, you have all the privacy, you can sing song, you can talk to the birds. I think this is really a rare gem to come by. So now we have finally completed our home tour for the first level. Now Melvin and Adrian will show you on the second level. So what is happening to the landed property market right here in quarter two of 2021? Now, if you have followed us since last year in 2020, we have uh, talked about a lot in our investor series plus a lot of our landed property market updates that we think landed properties are prime time right now moving forward to the next two to three years. And last year, 2020, we have seen so much demand for inter-terraces. Landed properties is within the two and a half to three and a half million dollars range. And of course, right now, you can't find anything much below the 3 mil mark it seems like the starting price right now is already prime starting from number 3 mil onwards and we noticed in the year 2021 inter terraces for the older land they are already close to 3 mil the middle aged inter terraces are at 3.5 million the brand new inter terraces are close to about 4 mil and thus there has been an uptick in terms of uh, demand for semi detached plus corner terraces based on our PLB Insights research team we think that landed properties are still prime time right here in 2021 because in terms of changing preferences a lot of families want that huge amount of built-in area that you can get in the landed home plus you're getting the land size and it's freehold in status check out more details in our research team uh, insights uh, publishing every week I'll meet you outside.
Here we are on level 2 and this is the link bridge that connects the two blocks together. The entire common area for this level is made of real solid granite and you have Chang'ai wood that fans out this whole entire link bridge area. Over here, you have this nice piece of second granite wall and it links from level 1 all the way up to level 2. This granite wall complements well with the plants indoor and outdoor which gives you a very nature feel. This sheltered outdoor family area gives you a very cozy feel. This comes fitted with of course the back uh, fencing of the Chiang Mai wood and it comes fitted with outdoor furnishings. There's two holders here for you to put in your candles and you can light them up during the night. It will be very beautiful, I can imagine that. This reminds me of the survival series game that I've seen when I was young. This is the main living hall and it's such a huge space that you can host about 30 packs. You still have your extended balcony that overlooks the greenery. And this whole entire space, you can see that it's of a nature themed concept and the flooring is made up of wood-like tiles. You have your grand piano, so you can actually entertain your guests and your families over here. Right? <laughs> Okay, you have two cassette uh, air condition. This allows to have an even airflow and you also have the ceiling fan installed and a very good sized TV area. I want to bring your attention to this third wall over here. This is the third granite wall. This is extremely hard to make because look at all the pieces over there. The craftsman literally needs to break up the granites and piece them up on this wall. It links from the level 1 all the way up to level 2 which is really extremely rare and very difficult to build. These are all auto irrigation systems, so you do not need to water your plant daily, so it's self-contained by itself, sitting on this nice piece of granite wall here. This is where you can do your barbecue. You can host your guests outdoor and indoor, so you have a perfect place to entertain your guests. If you wish to convert this area into another bedroom, you can literally do a partition wall over here and you can create another bedroom here and a family area over here as well. Let's check out the third level of this block which has the best view. This is the final bedroom of this house and it's a self-contained unit by itself. This could potentially be the master because it has everything you want in this private space. You have your balcony space, your own private dining space, TV area and also a mini living area over here. And the flooring for this bedroom is made up of parquet wood. You have your dry kitchen over here, private sink here, cabinetry is done, a mini fridge, you have your own cooker and your own hook as well. L-shaped cabinetries with solid surface, anti-drape and this leads you to your private wash area. Definitely if you want bathroom with a view, this is the one because it overlooks the whole entire Windsor Lander and Cliff. This space is where your sleeping area is. There's a place for you to put in a makeup area. Really huge because of this good depth of height. Uh, it really brings up this whole entire area. So let me show you the best part of this level. This balcony gives you a panoramic unblocked greenery view which is really rare for a landed house to have. This is one of the highlights you have parking over there. If you have guests that come and visit you, they can just literally park their cars over there and come straight up from the back entrance of this house. I can feel the breeze literally um, gushing through my face. This is just about 30 steps to the trail of treetop walk. Wow, you can literally play soccer right at the back. So let's chat a little bit about the pricing analysis right here if you're looking for a landed plot in the Upper Thompson area. So of course, D20 is very, very sought after. This is one of, of course, the most popular landed enclave in Singapore in terms of the amount of demand right here. The supply is pretty limited because a lot of people after having a landed property right here, they are not very fast movers in terms of exiting the market from here. So it's very hard to find a high level of transaction volume. So what are some of the choices that you have 
when it comes to finding a corner terrace or a semi-detached house right here in the D20 zoning. If you're looking around the Upper Thompson Belt, especially in the Windsor Park Estate or maybe some of the plots that is nearer to the Upper Thompson MRT station. To get a corner terrace in terms of a house that is suitable for rebuild, one and a half storey or maybe a two storey house, that is already going at close to about $4.8 million for something that is close to about 3,100 square feet land. Let's say to do a build out of about 6,000 square feet at $300 per square foot factoring your rental, that'll be close to about two to $2.1 million, bring you to about $6.8 or $6.9 million for a brand new home after 18 months rebuilt uh, time frame. So if you take that um, in consideration, $6.9 million, of course you can build something that is your own design. You can pump in a lift, you can pump in five to six different bedrooms uh, for the corner terrace plot. This land that we're standing right now is 4,930 square feet. Build up is at 5,525 square feet, which is very comfortable. This is an extremely moving house. Right now, the asking price is $7.8 million. We are at about 1,005 plus per square foot. You get a probably at about a 40% more land size right here. So if you can stretch to the seven odd million dollar range, then this is something that you can consider because to get a deep plot of land, this is something that you can really hold for a long tenure in time because there's so much usage to this home. To get a brand new semi D right here, also you have to pay close to about six odd million dollars uh, for a 3,000 odd square feet land. So this house is really suitable if you are going for a huge plot of land. You want something with a front and a main house, you want two landed house combined on the same land plot. Extremely rare, something for you to keep in longevity for your family to use. We have come to the end of this home tour and you will love this rare freehold corner terrace in Jupiter Road. Do give us a call. It has a total land area of 4930 square feet with two blocks and a swimming pool in the middle. This is a rare gem to come by in Upper Thompson area. And most importantly, it's almost impossible to get a lander that is at the brim and start point of the nature reserve in the middle of Singapore. Now give us a call if you want to have a look at this place. As always, our link and description of this house is all in the description link right below. And uh, if you want to have a look at the place, give a call to our listing managers. And uh, my name is Melvin Lim, Propter Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you this place. You also have... Uh, what other... What other plans are there? <laughs> check out the third bedroom. No, no, no. Let's check out the... Oh, oh. Let's check out the third bedroom. Uh, <laughs> Appliances as well as well ingredients. Huh? <laughs> Libra! Libra!